Matthew 6, verse 9. In this manner, therefore, pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And do, and do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Why don't we all stand up and posture ourselves to honor the Lord, to praise the living God. Jesus taught us how to pray, and he said, your kingdom come, your will be done. And that's what we desire. Lord, your kingdom come, your will be done. We desire, Lord, that the earth would be filled with the knowledge of your glory, Lord. Just as the waters cover the sea. Filled with your glory, O oh God. see us, they see salt and light. Glorify yourself in us, Lord. As we all bow down, as we all
truly God, you are holy. Hallelujah. All glory in the highest. We worship you, God, and we honor you, God. With everything we have, we come before you, Lord. And we just thank you, God. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness, Lord. We thank you for your presence in this place, God. Your sweet presence in this place. All glory and honor be to you, God. We lift up our hearts to you, Lord, our minds, our thoughts, our bodies. And we pray that you would have your way in us, Lord. Have your way in us, God. No matter what's happening in our bodies, in our thoughts, in our minds, God, we pray that, that you just have your way in us, God. Let your peace that surpasses all understanding consume us, Lord. Hallelujah. Touch us, God. Touch our bodies and our hearts, God. Touch our minds, Lord, that when we hear your word today, God, it will penetrate our soul, God, that we will not leave the way that we came. But every time we hear your voice, God, your word, that we stop and we're listening, God, and we want to know how to apply what you're saying, God. How does it apply to us? I pray that you would make that clear to us today, Lord. Reveal yourself to us in a new way, God. In a new way, God. We surrender our hearts to you right now, Lord. We pray for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding over whoever you've chosen to share your message with us today, God. We pray for them, God, that you will use them, use their words, their lips, God, to speak to us, God. And I pray that nothing will get in the way of your message to us, Lord. That it will not just be planted on empty ground, God, but it will be deeply rooted in us. And we will know what you are saying to us today. I declare this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.